solving equations involving angles and a pair of parallel lines. All right, I'm gonna let my doggy out just real quick. She's whining. I know. Okay. So down here it says in the figure below, N is parallel to O. So what that means is line N is parallel to line O. So if you see N, you see O. These two lines are parallel to each other. Find the values of Y and Z. So if you have not gone through some of the other topics, um, depends on, on your program and whether or not it'll let you skip around. So if, if you skipped around with this option and you kind of picked your topics, or if you um, got through some of your other topics and maybe you were, weren't um, writing notes on it, I definitely suggest you go back to finding angle measures given two parallel lines cut by transversal um, or identifying corresponding and alternate um, angles. So in those two videos, I actually give you quite a bit of notes on how to do these. Um, if you aren't taking notes, you should be. Um, definitely in the geometry section, there are a lot of notes. So if you have them written down and you keep them safe, you can just go right back to them instead of having to rewrite them. So on this explanation page, before you click start, you should definitely have some notes written down just so that you know what to do on the next page. Um, Cause there's a lot to remember on here. Now, some of these that are in blue in the dictionary, they may very well have them back here, but sometimes the dictionary doesn't have the best definition in them. It's not this full explanation definition. Sometimes it is. Um, so if we click on angles formed, so this actually has quite a few of the de definitions that we need in here. Doesn't give us a full diagram of them for each one, but it does have all the, the definitions in here for alternate interior angles, alternate exterior angles, consecutive interior angles, corresponding angles. These are all things formed when we have two lines and then a transversal crossing them. If a lot of these words seem brand new and you have never written them down before, Again, we should be writing notes, um, and I do suggest you go back and watch those videos so that you understand exactly what all of these um, pieces mean, or all of these, sorry, vocab words mean. Um, all right. So for this one, what we do need to understand, first, they're giving us vertical angle property and linear pair property. So vertical angle. So vertical angles are whenever you have a crisscross like this, whenever you have lines crisscross, this doesn't require um, parallel lines at all. So this just requires two lines to cross like this. Whenever two lines cross, I can go through the vertex, so straight through, through the vertex like this, and those are called vertical angles. So I can also do the same thing if I go this direction. Um, these are also called vertical angles, even though they're not vertical. Vertical means up and down. Um, sorry, there's a little bit of distraction in the background here. Um, so vertical means um, just across the vertex. It doesn't necessarily mean up and down, even though that's what vertical means. So once we, we understand that vertical angle just means go across the vertex, we also can identify that vertical angles are always congruent. And when you see these marks, these are congruent marks. So if you have congruent marks like this, and I know this isn't the neatest version, but I have one to one, so these two match. And then I have two to two. I'm sorry, I drew those top ones a little bigger, but that means that those two angles match. So these are vertical angles going across, and these are vertical angles going across. And vertical angles are congruent. So that's a, a, a big one we want to remember, that vertical angles are congruent here. Um, so I'm going to erase this. I'm going to try to fit some notes on here just so that it, um, we have them if, if you haven't watched those other videos. And then a linear pair. So linear pair property. So linear pair, the angles, they add up to 180 degrees, which we also call supplementary. That's another word that you should have heard at some point in here the word supplementary. That means they add up to 180 as well. So linear pair simply means if they're on a line together, 
So if we have an angle like this, or a line like this, and we have a line coming out of it, these two angles here have to add up to 180 degrees because a line is 180 degrees. So we call them a linear pair. So as long as you can draw a line um, and have them line up, so I can actually draw a little bit of the example over here like this. So I'm ignoring the left half of the example. I'm only looking at y and 4z minus 22. So this is a z. And these are twos, I swear. Um, so 4z minus 22. So these, because this is a line between these two, these have to add up to 180 degrees. Now, would this necessarily be easy if I said y plus 4z minus 22 equals 180? I can't solve that because I have a y and a z in the same equation. I need to know what one of them is before I can solve. Um, so that's another issue we need to, to, to deal with before we can actually solve this equation. Um, all right, so what we want to do, because I also want to write down corresponding angles. That was the other one. Okay. So corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Um, they have, they are equal, just like vertical angles, but the way we identify those, and I'm actually going to use this one over here. Um, so a corresponding angle is in the same position when we're talking about the parallel lines and we're talking about the transversal. So let's look at this 66 here. So it is on top of this transversal L. And transversal just means that it's a line going across the other two. So we have it's on top of the transversal. And it's also to the left side of its parallel line. So if we go to the other parallel line to find the, the corresponding angle, it needs to be on top of the transversal. So we want to be on top and we want to be to the left. So this is actually a corresponding angle to the 66. It also looks like I could take that 66 and just slide it right over and it would fit right inside of here. So that's another way to kind of identify corresponding angles. They look like they would just slide right on over. Um, so these are the three that they give you here. We may need a few more once we get to the other page, but these are the ones they give us on this front page. Um, so if we understand uh, a linear pair and corresponding angles, so I already told you, you can slide the 66 over here. So we know this side is 66. Um, and I'm going to redraw this real quick just so that you can see. So this is y. And I'm not drawing this to scale in any way. I'm going to put a cross on my z, 22. All right, so we already identified that this is 66 degrees. My son is very interested in saying hello. This is my son. <laughs> he wants to be on camera here. Um, so. We know that this is 66 degrees. We also know that a linear pair means that they're on a line like this. And I apologize, this is not a straight line. It shouldn't curve like this, but my board here is arguing with me about a, a straight line. So if I know that a linear pair add up to 180 degrees, then I'm going to start off with 180, and I'm going to subtract what I have on this side, 66, so that I can figure 